Hi, welcome to Lynn. Well, uh, this is the video church by Lynn Suzek, and we are talking about uh, my testimonies that I have on lynnshealingroom.com. It's my blog, and that spelling will be on this video in the section below the um, video. You'll find the spelling for Lynn's Healing Room there, and the blog that I'm talking about is called Convincing Yourself of the Truth, Convincing Myself of the Truth at that time. It was about um, a burn that happened to my hand, and I have lots of graphic videos on there. This is, of course, all healed. You can see pretty well that uh, the burn happened in August of 2016, a thermal burn. I, I prayed over it and I was going to let it heal, go through stages of healing. It was a third degree burn. I went to, um, didn't go right away to the emergency room. That's not my practice, if I can help it. And at the time I waited, I think I went a couple days later and then I, I got um, checked out by an emergency room nurse and they believed it would heal. Um, just gave me some sylvadine and some things to wrap it with and I started nursing it from there. And then um, I wanted to make sure I was doing a good job so I went to see a doctor, a follow-up visit, and, um, and that I think was maybe 10 or so days later. Um, and at that visit Everyone that looked at it thought it was healing, but it had gotten kind of black, crusty um, scab while it was healing. It had layers of skin to heal, and that doctor, at the end, they brought in the higher authority, the expert, and he said it needed surgery. And this was shocking. Um, I. I was not happy with that diagnosis. I didn't want to um, agree with that. So I, I, in faith, I decided to go home and keep praying over it and um, keep nursing it back to health. And then I decided to go for a second opinion. And that second opinion uh, was at, I'm in Michigan, U of M Hospital, Ann Arbor, and they are, you know, not a rinky-dink hospital. They're the best around here. And um, Detroit, um, I, the first hospital I was at was, De uh, I don't want to say the wrong one, so DMC, Detroit Medical Center, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then um, I went to U of M to get a second opinion, U of M Hospital in Ann Arbor. Um, and at that point, I was told, and I told you on my first video, that the first in this series about uh, convincing yourself of the truth, this is a technique that I learned while I was in this uh, emergency. Um, so after I was told there that they, they agreed with the first doctor that I needed surgery and they were going to put me in, they wanted to admit me and um, being I'm in a fragile situation already ha having a spinal cord injury, this was scared them and they believed it was not going to heal. I was told it would be a miracle if it healed and I said, well, I've got those, so thank you. Um, anyway, you see all the pictures of the progression and um, details at that time in my blog. You go to Lynn's Healing Room and on the left you'll see a hundred um, archives of blogs and one of them says convincing myself of the truth has all the details. Now today I want to talk about the rest of that story which was I decided not to get surgery and I I was how this happened was I was um, Praying, of course, I was just praying and praying about what to do, trying to hear the Lord. So I I started um, feeding on 
one of the healing testimonies that I feel very connected to, and that is um, on Andrew Womack's website, uh, Mike Hesh. He had a cancer that developed here. It was a skin problem, and it was just killing him. And he he talks about how he basically convinced himself that he was healing by God's word. And I listened to that, listened to that, and then the next things that happened were, you know, I was already scheduled for he for surgery, uh, so I had to decide to cancel that surgery, and that was a hard thing to do, very emotional. Um, people in my family were concerned, you know, trying to let me make my own decision, but concerned. I have an oldest daughter who is an RN, emergency room RN, in Detroit and um, she was you know concerned about what's the doctor saying and you know she knows about faith so um, told her what they were saying and how what I decided to do and so I went to church that weekend after I decided while I was deciding whether to have surgery or not and at church I I heard I got prayer and then somewhere in there, I get, I heard the Lord speak to me in the oddest way. Bill Clinton's voice came into my head, and it doesn't mean that, you know, anything about Bill Clinton being a man of God or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, wouldn't want to say, say that, but um, it was Bill Clinton's voice. In the spirit of what was being said at the time when Bill Clinton said, Who are you going to believe, me or her, you know? And God was saying in a joking way to me, Who are you going to believe, me or the doctor? And that was really powerful. And um, so it was very, you know, helpful that I was felt like I was hearing. You know, it wasn't a vision. It was like a, you know, a voice like a hearing vision almost like um, so I have uh, that information on my blog too that I heard God speak to me who am I gonna believe whose report will you believe that's scriptural and God's report says you're healed you can be healed if if you're getting direction to I'm not saying there's never a time to have surgery if but I do believe thoroughly that it's about your faith level Jesus says, according to your faith, be it done unto you. Whether you want to be insulted or not, it's just a matter of you can be healed instantly, you can be healed over time of anything, and you can, go, you can have surgery and pray through that. But I was not at peace about going through surgery, skin graft unnecessarily, uh, that would have been very difficult, more difficult than, you know, watching it heal. So, I, I had that, um, who are you going to believe? And then, after that, um, the Lord, I, so this is part of convincing myself of the truth, praying through. Another thing was, I prayed, um, the Lord showed me to talk to a friend of mine. I said, I got her in my mind. I hadn't talked to her in a while. He's, I kept imagining talking to her, and I didn't know why, and I realized the Lord's talking to me. God's talking to me. Uh, so then I said, Hi, Debbie. Uh, I just want to tell you what's happening because I feel like God told me to call you. Not sure why. And she... I told her what happened and she said, I once had a third degree burn. It was on my leg and here's what happened and it healed against doctor's orders. <laughs> Doctor ordered me to have a skin graft. How awesome was that? I didn't just happen to talk to her. I heard and saw a vision of me to, to you know, talking to her, imagined talking to her. I had no idea why. So that, that testimony fed my heart so on purpose I went to a testimony that that helped me believe that things can heal and how to how to do that how to take steps towards that 
uh, that one was Mike Hesch and his testimony on, it was a skin cancer that happened. Um, Mike Hesch, H-O-E-S-H, -E and his testimony is all over the place. It took eight years for, for his, um, when he finally decided, God, I already am well, God made me healed. Um, then, uh, I, you know, I made the decision not to get the, the surgery. I talked to Debbie and got further testimony that this could heal, that God would heal it. Whether it's natural or supernatural, I'm not sure, but, um, I, I just was like, how can I go against all of this? God is actually giving me direction and encouraging me to, to be in faith. So then um, I called and canceled my uh, surgery, which was uh, completely crazy to them. So when I did that, though, I got this flood of peace. I remember uh, also Andrew Womack quoting, um, let the peace of God rule your heart in a way that directs you. So when you're in peace or when you're in anxiety about something, you shouldn't do it. And when you're, you should be in peace about every decision that you make. So anyway, after I made that decision, I got peace that was very confirming. And then um, that was con the whole process is convincing myself of the truth. And um, I canceled it, and over time, I watched it heal and kept putting the Silva Dean on it and doing things that I thought I was hearing, you know, might be good for it. The problem is I, I, I just wanted to get direction from the doctor. What's the healing process here? And they're like, there is none. It's, that's not going to heal. So I wasn't expecting that. I looked up the healing process for a third degree burn on the internet, which is Kind of the opposite of what we generally t you know say to do it's like don't ever look things up on the internet because you can get vin convinced of the, of you can convince yourself of the opposite of that you're not going to heal get healed or that you're sick or that you have a disease if you do that but i in this instance i went online to look up third degree burns to see if there was something promising i could tell myself and there was no third degree burns need to be have surgery or in skin graft anywhere and it, they showed the healing process. So that further convinced me that I was, I, I am healed and that this would heal. So um, there's more detail on the blog and I just uh, draw your attention to that. And um, I'll, there'll be more, uh, I'll be talking about different testimonies on this video called the video church and I'm Lynn Suzak and thanks for joining me. I hope this helps you with your uh, healing journeys.